The financial crisis could cripple Australia. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my morning stein of coffee and I thought we'd have a look at this article written by Jason Murphy from news.com.au regarding the potential impact of the US's financial crisis on Australia and how it could cripple Australia. Several times in previous videos, I've highlighted just the link that Australia's economy has to China. And I was surprised to learn over the last year that a lot of people use the Australian dollar as a proxy for the Chinese economy. There you go. I mean, is that a position as a civilization we want to be in? Let me know your comments in the description, uh, your comments and thoughts below, guys. So let's have a look at this piece written by Jason. So first, Australia got a bunch of infections from the US. Next, we will catch its financial and economic contagion and it could cripple us. So it's all about America now. The worst recorded outbreak of the illness is happening in the US. Well, sorry, the worst reported, I would say. And if the world's biggest economy is pulled under, we will end up paying the price. Well, we're gonna end up paying the price because we're tied to China and they're in trouble. The number of official cases in the US has at the time of writing topped 100,000 ahead of the official tallies in China and Italy. Now, with the Chinese numbers, I don't think anyone actually trusts them. But I want to highlight to everyone, trading economics has all of the numbers here that you can see. Right now, it's 123,000 in the US. And China is still sitting at 81. I find it hard to believe. But all the numbers, everything is here on trading economics if you are interested, guys. Of course, nobody believes China's official numbers, but America can't use that as an excuse for its botched response to the, uh, to the illness. It had weeks to prepare and it failed. Well, I mean, let's have a look at that. The thing is, look, we need to consider their deaths to their number of cases. They're 2,200 with over 120,000 cases, so they're sitting below 2%, the mortality rate in the US. That's how you need to measure it in the long term, but we'll have to see. Because Italy, I mean, 10,000, and they're sitting at 90,000. That's, that's over 10%. So that's, that's how you need to measure it. I think Australia has blown its opportunity. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The World Health Organization, when they were saying there was no risk of infection or issues, businesses here in Australia were directed by the Chinese government to hoard medical supplies and send them through indirect channels. So there you go. I mean, and what does that tell you guys? What does that tell you? Uh, you know, we can all be critical of our government's response to the United States government's responses, but what if they were basing it off information from the WHO? Can you blame them in a way? Now, maybe we're all going to be a little bit more skeptical. So, in January, US President Donald Trump said, we have it totally under control. They absolutely did not. The incompetence has not been limited to the White House. America, the most technologically advanced nation, spent weeks unable to manufacture a functioning diagnostic test. Well, okay. Jason, that's got more to do, my understanding, with EPA regulations than anything else with them limiting nothing to do with their technological ability but to do with government intervention and regulation because there were plenty of private businesses that were producing them but they couldn't allow people to test them that's my understanding of it correct me in the comments if if i've uh, read that wrong but that's what i've heard what do you think would make more sense guys if if something's going to stuff it up it's going to be government bureaucracy every time as a result bodies are piling up in New York City. A further 247 Americans died in the most recent day. Well, that's gone up even more. About 10 every hour or one every six minutes. Refrigerated trucks are parked outside New York Hospital to help cope because the morgue is overwhelmed and they're still in the early days of the crisis. See, this is the thing, guys. Here in Australia, I think a lot of people are still skeptical because they haven't encountered it personally yet. It's going to come with time. 
it'll grow over time and it'll it'll happen quick you would but i mean here's the thing the drastic drastic restrictions on our freedom it happened real quick didn't it guys real quick quicker than some people might have anticipated u.s markets rose on thursday driven by a burst of optimism caused by the announcement of a two trillion trillion dollar stimulus package but have markets really reached the bottom the impact of the virus are still rippling outwards they will have financial and economic effects that hit the whole world and this will last for years this is frankly this is going to be the defining defining point of this generation guys this will be the defining point of the generation so when america sneezes want to hear a frightening estimate of where u.s unemployment is headed 32 percent the u.s unemployment rate was 3.5 percent in late 2019 it is extremely hard to imagine how decimated its economy might be with unemployment 10 times higher the 32 percent estimate is a back of the envelope calculation according to its author federal reserve bank economist dr miguel fari s castro sure things can't get that bad in the u.s sadly the latest u.s unemployment figures show the country is genuinely genuinely facing something unprecedented the number of people submitting claims for unemployment soared over three million far higher than in the darkest depths of the gfc as the next graph shows and we've seen that before i mean look at that this is not to be compared to the gfc if anything the gfc set us up for this set up the world economy for this the old saying is true when america sneezes the whole world catches a cold america is the world's biggest economy and uh if it uh, if it has yet another economic and financial meltdown australia's situation will be even worse than it looks now well yes th this is the thing guys i doubt in at all that we're going to return to normal i think this is going to be a drastic change to the the well to civilization as we know it the financial side we imported a lot of early hang on <laughs> we imported a lot of early sorry just the sneeze turned off the audio look at look at look how, how professional i'm getting here i've got a button to turn the audio on and off so the financial side we imported a lot of early uh, illness cases from america skies came back from colorado causing a lot of contagion now with the borders closed the next big risk of contagion is financial in the past five years u.s interest rates have been low and debt has been highly available debt is always the problem in a downturn this time it is not mortgage debt that is the risk but corporate debt many u.s companies borrowed heavily as the next graph shows corporate debt has been rising very fast with businesses set to fail can that money all be paid back and there you go and what was a lot of it used what was that money used for buyback shares wasn't it not really invested in any anything legitimate markets are already betting some of the debt can't be paid back corporate debt is traded on bond markets and the price people are willing to pay for it has plunged as the chance of default goes up one especially vulnerable area is silicon valley startups oh there's unicorns that never make a profit many of them aim to grow fast and lose money see when i read that it's like a dilbert cartoon or a dilbert comic you know where where you need to lose money lose money lose money and it, it, we really are living in a clown world i think some of adam's predictions are you know that he gave his jokes are coming real back in the good times investors were willing to throw in more money each year to cover their losses now there's much less attractive proposition instead investors prefer companies like apple with huge amounts of cash expect more startups to fail and perhaps the venture capital firms that funded them too america's financial system is continuing to function for now thanks to billions of dollars from the u.s federal reserve yes qe they are lubricating the system by just printing money money printers go brewer guys uh, how long will it be until people lose confidence in it but there's still the risk that the u.s health crisis which has become an economic crisis will develop into a financial crisis as well if it does australia will import a second round of trouble from america i mean here, here are the numbers from australia and i'm just looking right now at the time of recording what are we sitting at 
Where's Australia? Oh, hang on. I don't want that. I want the actual numbers of cases. So cases, we go here. 3,969. So there you go, but the deaths have gone up too since recording. So there we have it, guys. The potential... Well, I, I think it's inevitable, really. What do you all think, guys? How are you preparing for this? Do you think people are aware or are more people unprepared? I was talking to a gentleman the other day, a client, and uh, I'm saying, oh, mate, have you got any anything in gold or silver? And he, he hadn't even thought of it. So maybe there's a whole lot of people that aren't even slightly prepared for what's coming. As always, please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and you want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel here on YouTube for a small monthly fee. You can do the same on Patreon. You can use our affiliate links at Amazon or eBay for your consumer purchases, which I think more people will be doing now, ordering stuff online. You can also use our affiliate links at Independent Reserve or KuCoin for the crypto traders out there or PayPal for a direct donation. We have Gold Pass for gold donations and merch available from Teespring and Heiser says at Pocket Squares you can see behind me. Take care guys, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.